Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside Air Gamer. Welcome to Airport Sim. Now, this is a new game that was released as of yesterday, the 19th of October 2023, onto Steam. Uh, this is a game that I've been waiting for for quite a while. It looks really interesting. Uh, I've been really excited to see it. Uh, it's got loads of different things, lots of features for us to play with. Now, obviously, a little bit about this game. It, basically, we are the ground crew. We've got to make this plane turn around. We've got to do all the functions from follow me, marshalling, securing the aircraft, connecting GPUs, fueling, handling luggage, jetway maneuvering, catering, and lots, lots more. There are some real-life airports. We've got Vago Airport, Kaflak, uh, Warsaw, and Key West currently. I'm sure more will come. There are currently two licensed planes from the Airbus A320neo and the 737 MAX. They do have partnered airlines as well with Enter Air, Wizz Air, Atlantic Airways, and still more to come. There are absolutely tons of licensed vehicles for the ground handling side of things and uh, there's a full weather system there are different gameplay modes we've got scenarios we've got challenge cooperation and free play there just seems to be so much to do on this game now one thing i will tell everybody it is a little bit complex there's a lot of stuff to go through i do would say to everybody go through all these tutorials i've roughly gone through most of them uh, just to kind of get the knack to what to do but there's so many buttons to remember i'm probably not going to remember them all we will make mistakes uh so i would like to do some multiplayer streaming maybe if any of you have this game and would like to do that uh come join discord let me know in discord so we can arrange a stream night also, we can make your own scenarios and liveries. I will try and get my virtual airline simply connect delivery onto these planes for you guys, for any of you that want to use that. As well as we have uh, scenario making as well. So you've got scenario, free play, and challenge. Um, so free play, you can just kind of do what you want. Scenarios are what are kind of set to you to be do. They get positioned to getting scores and things like this. And this is what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with a scenario. I don't want to go to the big airports just yet because there's a lot of running around to do. I'm going to start at Vago. And as you can see, Vago Airport was built by the Royal Engineers of the British Army during World War II. And the first airplane landed in the autumn 1942. After the war, it was left unused until it was reopened in 1963. A new airport terminal was reopened on the 17th of June 2014. To this day, it is the only airport on the Faroe Islands. So we've got three scenarios currently. Like I said, you will be able to add yours to the workshop. Um, so we're going to do departure operations. The early morning departure schedule is full of flights. Prepare them and, uh, for their destinations. We start at 6.40. Let's give this a go. Okay, guys. Welcome to the airport. Unfortunately, it's uh, pretty wet and horrible. We seem to have two planes here at the moment. Okay, so what we need to do is go into our tablet mode. You can see we've got an 8.10 and an 8.40. Get ready for departures. So we definitely need to look at this 8.10 first. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is connect the GPU to aircraft at stand 2. If we go to the map, there's stand 2. Any of the carts that you might be looking for, you can use this to uh, use, basically, I'm looking for a tractor, there's a tractor down there, uh, and if I want, say, uh, well, the GPU we know is just going to be down there anyways, it's going to be in one of these. Um, so we can use the map, and again, you can see the weather for the weather forecast for the day, all those kind of cool things. So let's run down here, because we've got a lot to do, not a lot of time. We need to get this 810 ready. I'm assuming it already had the cones. It doesn't look like the cones are there. We'll have a look once we get closer. There's cones here. Okay, so here's a lot of the uh, baggage area. These are some GPUs. The only one I've actually used is this one. Uh, I've not used this one yet, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, we've got a tug car here. You need to make sure you get in the correct side of the tug. And uh, we'll turn it on. Right. First things first, then let's uh, get this reversed. Oh. Okay, let's get back inside here for a second. We'll leave it running. There we go. We connect you up. I'll be honest with you, I don't know what button is for wipers on this thing. There must be a key for it. I'm not sure what yet. We'll drive along the road. So yeah, for me, that's probably the biggest thing is just remembering all the keys. There's a lot of keys. All the machines do different things. They'll have different start procedures. Uh, so yeah, it is, a, it is a lot of fun though. A lot of fun. Okay, so this needs to park up around the front of the aircraft here. This is where the GPU slot is. Luckily, we already got cones. So that's good. Just going to get out of here. I'm going to disconnect you for the minute because we might use you. Uh, okay, so under the A320, this is the GPU little uh, plug we'll get the plug from the side of this there you go it's plugged in and now we need to make sure we turn it all on okay so power 
We'll turn the engine on. Like a petrol generator here. We'll have to wait for it to uh, heat up. While it's doing that, we'll just move this out of the way for a second. Okay, so now the plane has power. Now you are supposed to tell the flight deck that they can uh, turn off the APU, but because it's uh, because it's on the ground, it's okay. But we need to be in contact with these lot as well. So next thing is the fuel tanker. Now where are you? You are down here in this airport. Again, you can use the maps if required. This plane will need 7,500 kgs of fuel. I think the Airbuses are a little bit easier to fuel than the 737. 737s is a lot more manual fueling, where the Airbus, you just tell it what you want and it'll do it. That's why Airbus rules. You know, I'm a big Airbus fan. Okay, so there we go. That is a fuel tanker. There's the catering truck. So we'll get in you. Absolutely no idea what the wipers would be. Could do with them, though. I wish it would pop up like with the keys, just so you like you know. Alright. So we're gonna turn this truck around the other way. I didn't realise that was the grass. <laughs> I thought it was more concrete. Alright, we'll slow it down. How are we not? There we go. Now you have to leave the tanker on. Tanker needs to be stayed on. We need to open up the flap here. We're going to pick up the um, the grounding so we don't spark and set fire and all blow up, of course. So we're going to connect you up. We need to open two things on on here. We've got the... Uh, no, that's the cabin. Where's the uh, fuel tank? Here you go. The fuel panel. That is, <laughs> we just opened up to put the luggage in. No rush. Okay, so we need to make sure that that's all on. We need to connect you up. So again, we're going to open up the tank here. So there's a lot to remember, hence why I say you should definitely do the tutorials, because the planes are different. Things can be a little bit different. I am going to turn the fuel on here. Why can't I drag you all the way down? There we go. Now, this is where the Airbus comes into a bit of its own. So we're going to throw it on the battery. We want to do an LTS test, let it refresh, and then we want to do a high level test, make sure everything's working, and that's what that shows. So again, a lot easier, we need to have uh, 7.5 in the tank, so if we increase this to 7.5, even though it's got 5 kilos of fuel, the Airbus automatically works itself out, and uh, again, that is the big advantage where in the uh, 737 we have to do a little bit more work. We're lucky. This is what we have here at the moment. So 7.5. Perfect. There we go. And then if we open up the switch. And now this is going to start fueling. And it automatically goes into the tanks as well. Where again in the 737 we have to manually pick it. So this is going to do exactly what it needs to do. Not much we can, uh, we can do for a minute. We'll just make sure it all goes in. Okay. So it's now ended. All right, uh, I'm going to close that switch. We can turn that battery off. We can close that. Oh, hang on. Refuel the plane. 2575. Uh, hang on, that's not right, is it? Now there's 8.8 .8 in here. Okay, we'll put another 2.5 in. Maybe it's... Um... Oh, I've got to re redo this now, sorry. Maybe it's just... Uh... Maybe the calculation was wrong. But in the tutorial, it worked out okay. There's 7.5 in...
But I need to go past them what was already in it. So if we go up to 10. So it would be 12 point... Uh, Let's just see, does that change some things? It does. Okay. Weird. I thought this was the actual fuel of the aircraft that was required, not how much... Uh, yeah, okay. So the soil seemed a bit backwards then. We'll let that just go up to what it needed to go. Okay, now it's happy, so so be it. <laughs> I got it wrong. Let's close the tab to here then. Uh, we're going to... Uh, fuel pump must be disabled, yep. So we've got to turn off the fuel pump. That should be done. We're going to disconnect you. Let's get you back in the, uh, the truck. And we'll disconnect you. Then we just need to confirm our task once we've done this. Okay, so that'd be fuel incomplete, so we can tell the pilots that fuel has been done. We need to close the fuel panel. Let's close that. Ah, the, the other one, the wing one, sorry. This is what I mean, there's always so much to do and remember. There we go. So we press one, we go back to flight deck, fuel, confirm the fuel. I'm just going to disconnect that for a second. I'm going to take our dolly dolly here. We we'll need to go get some cargo. We need to make sure you get in the right. Okay, it was already still turned on. See, look, controls. F11 to open controls pop up. Okay, that's nice. That's the pop up. Right, okay. I find that a bit odd. So here's our baggage trolleys. Uh, you can connect as many as you think you can uh, You can tow. Different machines will have different tow weights, so be prepared on that one. And obviously they get a bit more tangled in the depots. That's just one thing I would say. But I might connect these two up just for the fun of it. Okay, well, we can drag it and we can connect it. There we go. Uh, okay, so... We need to go into here. We got the Paris. We know... Oh, hang on. Load luggage. Next stairs. Deliver meals. Alright, okay. This is what it wants us to do next. Request the luggage by turning on the conveyor belts. Take luggage from the luggage room. Load luggage. Forward, cap, hold. Okay. And if we just go into the map here very quickly, you can see... You got your cargo. It's telling me where it wants me to go. We need to go here, basically. So let's do that. Okay, so this is luggage for the planes. Okay, so this one's a bit different. Uh, the last one I went into was a big one that we had to go in. Okay, so which side are we coming out of here? There's no screens. There were screens in the other one too. Alright, let's just pull down the gate of you. Make my life a bit easier. Okay, let's get the bags. We, we'll need to pick them up. I'm going to do it a lot nicer than what they do in real life. Uh, they're an absolute pain in real life. And as you can see, I've got 50... Oh, wow, there is a lot of cargo here. So we've got 15 in the front and 14 in the rear. Oof. Maybe I do need the two trucks. I don't know if I'm going to be able to carry it all, but... Uh, we'll definitely give it a go. 
Shame that the weather's so poor today. Now, if you want, I think we can throw them as well if we hold it down. That's more realistic, isn't it? That's what they do. I remember when uh, I went to Australia and where I was sitting on the A380, it was just perfect. I could see them loading the baggage. I see my bag going on, just getting absolutely just chucked on. And uh, it broke all the wheels and everything. I mean, it was a cheap bag, so I'm, I'm not complaining too much, but uh, it's not the point. I'm going to throw that bar up just so maybe, uh... I didn't realise we we're going to have actually this much luggage. Wow. The tutorial gives you, like, three. I thought it was maybe, like, shortened down on purpose. <laughs> like, because it's a big job, but no, no, no. It's realistic here. Realist realism, that's what we want. Probably should have counted so I know what was going front and what was going back. But uh, it's okay. Let's throw some of these in the in the rear now. I haven't even set up the uh, the cargo holds yet for the for the aircraft. Why is we're doing it in this order? Can't pick it up. I bet you I'm supposed to have counted these as I go, just to make sure I get enough. I bet you it's not just going to give me the exact number. We might have to stop the conveyor belt for a second. So if we stop, we can probably load this on quickly. See where we're at. Alright, now I've caught back up. anymore actually coming out there wasn't so that could have been it all right so the plane that we're loading is over here so what i want to do is get this uh, this guy set up first so you load the front first then the rear and then when you unload the rear first okay so this is uh, opened Really? Why are you not opening properly properly? What's going on there? Let's have a look at this rear one. That's open, that's a bit weird. Okay, so we need to... Yeah, am I supposed to get in there? Well, we didn't show this issue. Uh, we didn't show this issue in the tutorial. These just opened up. So, what am I missing?
Same for the rear, isn't it? Alright, interesting. Let's get the luggage over here anyways. Well, we're having a bit of a crap start here, aren't we? Get in. Okay, I just want to look at the operations because we need to deliver the meals. So let's start with that for the second while I work that up because the meals take a bit of time to load. And I've got to find the meal loader, which is down here. So a uh, bit of a walk. Okay, and this is going to go to the rear of the uh, aircraft because uh, staff will do this for us. I won't have to actually do very much. I just got to do the lining up side of things. And it doesn't help when uh, we're skidding around all over the place. It is wet out there. We'll put it down to the bit of rain. Okay, so how we uh, tell by this is the uh, flashing and uh, the, the lights and stuff. So what we'll do now is put the legs down. What we're going to hope for is some flashing light. We do. So we press enter. The guy is actually going to uh, load this himself now. We'll see him go in and out, which is pretty cool. Here he goes, he's loading the catering. So he's gonna take a bit of time, so we'll allow him to do that. Like I said, I'm a bit concerned by this. Right, let's have a look what was next on that list anyways. So we're doing that. Let's connect the stairs up then. There are stairs here. So a lot of things are done by these red and green flashing buttons. Fine, just going in the outside mode probably helps the most. So we will have planes come in, planes come out. If you play on free mode, you can literally just do what you want. I thought we'd try the scenario first. At least get one plane out for a video, and then we'll go from there. Definitely want to do some more videos and stuff. Probably won't get anything else done over the weekend. That's the only... Uh, downside. Okay, so we've got to raise this. We've got to get it under the foot plate there. Oh, I've not gone into the airplane there. I'm going to be doing that. If we go in here, I'd say that my uh, light is flashing. Okay, so we need to open up the door. And then you've got to wait for the door to open. And we've got to put our stair barriers on. There we go. And we can actually turn this machine off. Now 
No, apparently I wanted to stay on. Okay, so to load the passengers, I'm probably going to have to do that via the bus, aren't I? Oh no, they're coming, they're just going to walk. Okay, that's fine. That gives me a second then to try and work the hell this out. Now the interesting thing is it won't even let me back in here, there we go. Just going to assume that I can just get in. I'll go. Maybe it was a seven uh, four seven I did. I thought, it, I thought it was this one. Okay, let's just move this out of the way for a second. Okay, so we're lifting the door. Okay, I need to uh, change the direction of the belt. which is T, because we're loading. I'm going to get off it there. Right, I'm hoping it's going to go in. Okay, we are going to have to sort out up there as well, unfortunately. We literally do everything, in case anyone was wondering. Okay, that's three, four. I'm hoping they're going to barge past each other. Mate, why have you changed that? I'm trying to do the luggage. Okay, nice. It's actually going in quite nicely. We might have to go in and sort it out. Just to move them a bit more out of the way. Up you go. So as you can see, you can see why it can be quite fun in multiplayer, because there is a lot to do. Okay, now we've got a bit of a problem. Yeah, it's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That was a good old, good old gamble, that wasn't it? Okay, very quickly, I just want to maneuver this out of our way. 
Uh, if we go back on the outside then what we need to do is lower the crane itself. Why am I not... Are we only allowed to do things... Uh, okay, it might, it might be a case we're only allowed to do things when it's done properly like this. Right, why are you not disconnecting? There we go. Move you down. We press Y to bring up the floor pegs. broken the uh, door there but okay let's get the last bags here on okay passengers are loaded uh, disconnect stairs from aircraft number two okay yeah that's fine I'm still doing the luggage at the moment so I'll just have to wait okay 15 out of 15 Unfortunately, the uh, other one was in the way. Okay, let's get uh, controls here for you. It must be in a 737 that I was doing it on. Uh, they just, they don't need this. Oh, there's an 8220. There you go, just so you all know, this is how you have to do it. Play the tutorials and take notes. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh. Why are you not closing? Okay, I'll work on that in a minute. Oh, we're under some pressure on our own here. Okay. That is on. Take down this gate. Just start loading some of this up. Don't panic. Uh, my apologies that the A10 to uh, I think it was Paris will be delayed because we have uh, a staff strike today. There is only one idiot on staff. Let me in.
Uh, I wonder if it's not closing because they all have to be in the compartment area. Could be. Okay, interesting uh, key to open it is fine. Okay, it's not an O, it's a Q. Flashing thing is a little bit annoying in the top corner there. Turn that off, you know, missions and all that. We just remove this, remove the stairs, the luggage has been done. Okay, so to take down the stairs then, we have to bring back the barriers. We'll say au revoir. reason I can't move my stairs. I'm assuming my barriers aren't all the way back. Okay, there we go. If we press Y, we'll bring up the... Uh... Engine must be turned on. Okay, for some reason the engine turned back off. Stair truck lowered. So we're just going to go into our 810 here. It's already 816. <laughs> uh, we're loaded. Okay, so we're good now. We can tell them. To disconnect uh, signal crew to fire the APU. Now the APU is going to take a minute to kick on. I'm going to have to move that out of the way. Uh, so I'm just going to disconnect you. So we're waiting for the APU to start at the moment. I didn't see no pushback tug anywhere. Uh, 
Okay, he's over there. Uh, we can disconnect the AP for uh, this for now, so that we can probably turn this off first, I'd say. I mean, I don't think we're too late. Okay, now chocks and cones. So cones can stack, but only so many at a time. I think uh, they still will take two bundles to do all of this. Okay, yeah, that's going to be full of the cones for the minute. Uh, so let's just drop them there. No other cones. Okay. Chocks from underneath. We'll pick up all three. We're very strong. Remove bypass pin. There we go. Clear area for vehicles and cones. Okay, it looks like there's a vehicle or something in the way still. There we go. Check plane modules. So, yeah, we have to do the walk around check. You go around. We're going to hold down. Just make sure everything is working, looking correct that we put everything down and away but the engine here you got the front slats I thought the pilots did this more than anyone else I suppose we could have a look around too uh, don't forget the tip the tip is its own thing then you got the slats flaps fuel tanks just to have a look at uh, make sure all the wheels here are doing okay Make sure we shut and locked all the doors, obviously, is the whole idea. So, obviously, you're supposed to turn these around on time, best you can. I think if you're on your own, it's very hard. I think this is definitely a multiplayer kind of fun game. And uh, definitely, I will look into live streaming this week. If people are interested, like I said, please join Discord. Let me know. Um, I'll only do live streaming if there's enough of people. So many times I go to do it and uh, no one turns up. So... Right, as far as I'm aware, there shouldn't be any other... Check plane, manage all expected, confirm task. Okay, so yeah, I, I think uh, we're all good. So if we're out of the area, what you need to do next is go to the flight deck, tell them that you've confirmed your walk around. He's turning on his engines. Is he just going to pull right out? Yeah, he's going to turn his wheels there and directly get out. I mean, the 840 to Mallorca? Yeah, we ain't got a hope in hell. Let's, let's be honest. Now, some airports have jetways. Jesus, this thing feels like it's got a handbrake on the back. Just want to make sure it's out of the way. Don't think there's anything else I need to confirm. He's turned on the engines himself. Now, you do have to do pushback in some airports, too. But like I said, this one has the uh, turning facility here, hence what this red line is for the wings. He's going to take off all by himself. Fortunately, we've been in this pigging rain. So the whole idea is, is we, the, the scenario is we're supposed to turn them both around as fast as we can. Maximum points. But I, I'm just happy to just do the one play and show you guys the game. Let me know what you guys think. Do you want me to cover more of this game? But there are so much more to it that we haven't seen. Let me know in those comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Hit that like bell. And other than that, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.